How's it going guys? My name is Jake Fogg and welcome back to, I believe, episode number 15 of my FM20 Let's Play with FC Andorra. Before I get into the video, I just want to say if you are new around here, welcome. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. It means a lot to me and it really helps me out. But anyway, now that's, uh, now that's all done. Today's match between Real Madrid B and FC Andorra, which was the game I was going to bring to you, has been postponed because the pitch is waterlogged. So that's annoying. <laughs> I'm not sure who I'm going to be playing instead this episode. Um, but uh, before I do get into the game, I'll just run you through the fixtures and um, uh, the results. Sorry, and it's been a it's been a good little good little spell off camera. So after our uh, tuna win, I believe in the last episode against Oviedo, we went away to Alicante, one 0 win, pretty even game. Uh, Andres sc scoring again in the 44th minute to give us um, give us a 1-0 victory and once again Gennaro has been absolutely unbelievable a 9, uh, a nine rating, 8 key passes, 4 chances created, he's been an unbelievable little pick up then after that 3-0 victory at home to Alaves, a team that were relatively high I believe in the league at the time I'm not sure if they still are but once again Andres with a hat trick 20, 60 and 80 second minutes Unbelievable. He's having an absolutely incredible season and uh, yeah, helped us towards a very good win at home to Alaves. But then unfortunately the game after we could only manage a one all draw against Granada after having by far having by far the better of the game, is he scored in the fifteenth minute. Andres, after how well he's been playing, missed a penalty in the thirty fifth minute and Granada equalised in the seventy seventh, but it is what it is. It was one of them games where it just kind of just wasn't to be, really. But on a good run of form, and uh, at least it keeps the un the unbeaten run alive. And then the final game, a 4-2 victory at home to Nemantia. Nemantia? Not entirely sure. Double frizzy, Batista Meyer, and then Ramadani uh, in the 94th minute. His first goal, actually, for the club. So it was nice bring it uh, brought him on off the bench. But yeah, Left it late to win this game. We were, well, no, we were, actually went down and then went up to 2 1. They equalised in the 71st minute, and then with Batista Meyer got us the goal in the 89th, and then Ramadani in the 94th. Again, a game that we dominated and a well deserved win. So if we just look at look at that, it's a nice little, nice little month in October, that, innit? So the game today will be against Albacete, but if I just go over to my inbox, let me just find it. Manager, is it there? There we go. Won myself manager of the month for the, in the Spanish second division. Five matches, 80% win ratio and 260 manager points. And once again, if I now find the player of the month, it will be no surprise to you who won the player of the month. And it was indeed, if I can find him. Okay, that probably wasn't the best, best one to type in. But Andres, five goals in five appearances with an average rating of 7.82. What a player he is. What a player. So it's 11 games, 12 goals and 1 assist with an average rating of 7.81. He's almost at a goal a game for, for his entire career here. It's ridiculous. I never thought he'd be this good when I signed him as a backup to Appy. And look, there it is. P postponed. But actually, I've just realised I haven't shown you the table. We're in third. We're in third place. Really, really, really good. Bod expectations avoid relegation. At, at the moment, we're sat in the automatics after 12 games. I mean, we're only in the automatics because Barcelona B can't get promoted, but it's not looking too bad at all. But anyway, I will now skip forward to the Albacete game, and I'll bring you that. Oh, after the games we've played, we've dropped down to fourth. But obviously, we do have a game in hand over all these. And if we win that game in hand away at Real Madrid B, we'll a it'll actually see us jump into second place. Unbelievable stuff. Okay, and we're back. And Mirandez's game against Barcelona B has been postponed. I wonder if they've got a waterlogged pitch as well. It's obviously very rainy over in uh, Andorra slash Spain at the moment. So, like I said, going into this game, we are currently sat in 4th place. And Albacete, just down there, you can see them are sat in 13th place. So, the team selection for today. Unfortunately, Comas has been suspended because he picked up a um, 5 bookings. So, I'm going to start... Oh, I've got to start Allende at centre-back alongside Lucas Mai. Comas can come off the bench to be replaced by Booking. Ramadani is injured. So put on the bench Fran Pastor. 
Nico Hug can come back in at left back. And Hilmar onto the bench for Lions Foster. Um, Gennaro's fine. Gonzalez is fine. Um, yep, so that is I'm pretty happy with that team. That is what I'm gonna what I'm gonna start off with. So it's Banyu's in net, Nunez, Alande, Mai and Hug at the back of four. Gonzalez and Gennaro in the middle, Batista Mar on the right, Izzy on the left, Fidalgo in behind, Andres, who is up front on his own. Submit that team. Let's get into this game. Ooh, same system as us. Very nice. Challenge my pick up where they left off. I agree with you on that one. Um good team talk actually. Good, good job. Who's my who's my assistant? Good job, Albert. And let's get this game kicked off. And oh, look at that! The draw, draw takes us up to second. Unbelievable stuff. Well, been a very boring opening to the game so far. And as I say that, there is actually a highlight. This is the first highlight of the game. It's a goal kick to them. They keep the ball, play around. They try to play it forward. And it's intercepted by Hug into Gonzalez. Plays out wide to Batista Meyer. Can he? Play it through, doesn't quite squeeze it through, but the ball's cleared only as far as Nunez to Gennaro. Back to Nunez, to Gennaro. Gennaro takes it down the line, puts a cross in, falls to Batista Meyer, and that's gone straight through the goalkeeper. Oh, come on. That was a um, that was an interesting goal, was that? Let's see what it looks like in 3D. Because it looks like it just literally went straight through the goalkeeper. I don't know if it was high or if the keeper dived and missed it. Oh, he just... Just tried to palm it away and just missed the ball. But uh one nil after eighteen minutes. Very good stuff as another highlight comes in. Hug to Mai. Back to Hug inside to Gennaro. What's he gonna do with it? Dribbles it. Out to Batista Maya, please put it in the box. He's gone for a shot and he hit past the far post. Oh, he should have just played it across there. Back with goal kick. Keeper plays out, but Batista Meyer gets it to Andres. Back to Batista Meyer. Can he play through to Fidalgo? He can indeed. And Fidalgo goes for the far corner, and it's a good save by the goalkeeper. How did he miss that? Says the commentary. We'll never know. And the resulting corner, Batista Meyer whips it in, but it is cleared away. Half an hour in. Very, very good performance so far. Very good from us. So throw into them. Zozuila. One name. They've still got it. Jimenez to Ivan to Olabe. To Pena plays it forward, but it's just gone straight through to the goalkeeper. It's a terrible ball. He plays it outside, uh, out wide to Hug, and he plays it forward to Izzy back inside. Now Gonzalez is taking it forward, the box to box midfielder running with it. Back to Hug, can he beat his man? He does indeed, and he puts it to the far post. It falls to Gennaro, has got it on the edge of the box, and what a finish that is, Gennaro. His first goal of the season, his first goal for FC Andorra, puts us 2 0 up against Albacete, and what a way to do it that was. Let's watch it in three dimensions. Hug plays it in. Batista Mar's shot is blocked. Um, I think Andres actually played it back to him there, and then bottom corner, keeper just gets a little, little hand to it, but he can't prevent it from going past him into the back of the net. And that was a highlight, apparently. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. <laughs> 38 minutes in now. Hug to Pal Palazon. Izzy. I just need to call him Izzy. But Zozulia. Zuzu oh, what a dreadful ball that is. And Andres is there to intercept it to Izzy off the post. Oh, couldn't quite capitalise on their mistake. But we've still got it. Izzy to Gonzalez to Fidalgo. Back to Izzy. Beats his man, but he gets a block for the shot. We've still got the ball here as the highlight actually does finish. Okay, two assists for Andres today more than he's got all season. I think he's only got one so far this season, so good stuff. As that takes us to half time, a very good performance so far. 14 shots, 5 on target, 64% possession. They've not had a shot on target yet. Unbelievable stuff. Let them know that I appreciate their efforts. They're all looking happy. Let's go out into the second half and continue it. Come on, boys. I tell you what, here, Barcelona B, with one game more than us, are actually only, um, what's the word? If we win our game in hand, is what I'm trying to say. It, it, everything stays as it is. We will. We could move on to 30 points, and that'll be uh, only four behind. As nothing's happened so far in this second half. Just pause it. I'm gonna bring on Ape because he's not had um, not had many opportunities this year because Batista might have been so good. I'm gonna take Gennaro off since he is on a booking. I'm gonna bring on Riverola. And I'm going to leave it like that for now. 
I might bring on Giuseppe Leone later on down the line. Oh, first highlight of the second half, I'm pretty certain this is. Goal kick, and they've got it, Pena. He's under a bit of pressure, but he plays it back. You get the ball forward, they've still got the ball out wide here to Ivan. Beats his man, puts the cross in, and... Oh, dear. Great assist from Allende. <laughs> well, that's you going straight back out the team when Comas is uh, not suspended anymore. Let's just watch what happened there. Let's see what it looked like in 3D, because in 2D it was oh, a little bit of a mix. Up. They've jumped into each other and the ball's straight and fallen straight to Gassama, 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 who was never going to miss from there. Oh dear, oh dear, and I've just realised I've taken off two of my best performing players so far this game. Just going to give him a little, I was about to give him a little get creative, but there's a highlight, Nunez gets tackled, and they're coming forward with it, but it's gone straight to Mai. So we've got the ball back, Gonzalez to Izzy. Plays it to River Rose, Fidalgo. Can we work something here? Just keeping hold of the ball quite nicely, Batista Meyer. A couple uh, one twos. Nunez out on this right hand side into River Roller, gets the cross blocked. And then Nunez, what a ball that is to Fidalgo. Oh, he's hit the bar or the post, one of the two, I'm not sure which. Oh, that was actually a really, really nice route. Uh, really nice move for this last. Um. Last 15 minutes, I'm going to bring on a Giuseppe Leone in that box to box midfielder role, replacing Gonzalez. He's had an okay game, he's on a 6.9, but nothing spectacular. But then there's another highlight here. Hug takes a friend to Fidalgo, back to Hug. He gets tackled, and they're coming on the attack now. Garcia plays it forward to Gassima. He plays it back to Ivan. Ivan? Ivan to Pena. Ivan to, Sus to Suset. To Susayeta and the ball thankfully goes over the bar. Need a little demand more. Am I? Is a no reaction? No, no. Okay, I don't mind if there's no reaction as long as you. Uh, oh dear, they've been inspired by some feedback. As we're into injury time now, just four minutes of it. I don't know why the clock. The clock is moving painfully slowly. <laughs> I just don't like it. Oh God, and there's a corner. Batista Meyer. Sends it in. It is headed away, but only as far as Riverola. Plays it back to... Oh, I didn't like that. And plays it all the way back to Banyus. Oh, my God. Uh, the defender got a bit... That uh, striker got a bit too close to him there. We're on the attack here. Hopefully for Dalgo out to Nunez. Can he play it forward to Riverola? But he, uh, it's a dreadful ball. And now they're on the counter-attack. Oh, no. But my rise is well above them there. Now we're on the counter attack. Out to Izzy on the left hand side. Beats one into Fidal. Oh, has he missed that? How have you missed that? Oh my god, 20 seconds left. And their keepers decide to hold it for about five. That was nice of him. 10 seconds remaining. They're on the attack. I do not like this. Nunez with the tackle and get it, get it out. Click, get it out, son. Yes. Whew, that was. That, that was far too nervy of an ending for my liking, but we do come away with the win 2-1. Uh, I'm going to tell them that the second half wasn't good enough. A couple stressed players. I don't care. Should have played better. They re reacted generally pretty well. But that leaves us currently... I'm sure it said that Barcelona had played a game and dropped... Was it? Oh, it was Barcelona's game that got suspended. What? It definitely said in that game Barcelona played 14 on 34 points. Very strange. Just a little glitch. I guess it was. I guess it thought that the game was being played, so it updated the table. But I'll just go forward and see how the uh, oh, FC Andorra move into promotion contention. Unbelievable stuff. I will just skip forward. Six unbeaten as well. I'm just going to skip forward, see how the rest of the results go, and see where it leaves us. Okay, so there was actually only three more games to be played. So it's a little bit of a mix of 13 and 14. So we are still left in, uh, still left in second place on 27 points. Uh, behind us, Malaga, who've played an extra game on 25 points, then Espanyol on 24, Sporting Gijon, Gijon on 22, Elche on 21, and Fuen, Fuenlabrada on 21 points as well. So we're making ourselves quite comfortable up in this top, um, I guess top top seven. If you ignore Barcelona B. Uh, with regards to the next episode, I might do. I'll do the. I'll do the last game. I'll either do this Elche game, since it is the last game 
before the winter break. Or I might, no, I think I'll probably come back and hopefully do Almeri and Zaragoff. Oh, I don't really want to do Zaragoff because I think I've already played them on camera, haven't I? Were they my first game of the season? They were my first game of the season. So I may, I may come back and do either side of this. So Elche and then Almeria both games but I'm not entirely certain but I will decide it won't be far in the future anyway but that is where I'm going to end off this episode as always thank you for watching uh, if you did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you in the next episode